my very good friends here on YouTube. This is The Den, and this is my final episode. I have decided that we're going to end Season 2, because I feel like it. I feel like it's the right thing to do. Like, I'm uh, loving building over at Blue Beacon, but uh, I'm going to return. Uh, now for Season 3, I'm going to start a new world. But for Season 4, we will return to this world. Because I want to break from this world, and uh, I want to do something a little bit different for Season 3. So, uh, it's kind of a offshot kind of season where we're not going to be... You know what? I will explain that in that in the first episode of Season 3, I already have the world. The seed is, uh, like this was, an off branch. I change one letter. Uh, so what I'm thinking is every time I change a world for the den, I'm going to use the same seed. But I'm just going to change one digit in the seed. So, like, if we go uh, seed, like so... You see, it's 2766777650. For season 3, it will be 37667, and so on. I don't have the numbers in my head because I, I'm not good with numbers. But, so what I'm thinking we are going to do now is we're gonna do a few things before we start this episode. First off, I brought a shulker box. And I'm going to place it outside. Oh, I am really bad with this door. <laughs> and I'm also working a little bit on my audio, so I'm hoping this is going to be better. But, we're going to go like this. There we go. And there we go. So, if you guys want me to upload this world so you guys can go and grab it and play on it let me know down in the, down in the comments and all of the gubs will be right there okay and now we are gonna go creative because i want to be able to fly uh, i'm using the old resource pack the resource pack that was uh, made for this world I will update uh, the link down below if you guys want it, because uh, there are some uh, resource changes. Uh, some uh, if if you just play this, oh, it's almost night time. If you just play this world with the van vanilla textures, it's not gonna look good. There's lots of stuff that's not gonna look very good. I can only sleep at night, like. These guys will not be there, you know? There are some small things like that. This will not be white cobblestone. Uh, this will not be red cobblestone. There are some changes. Uh, the brick will not look like this. And, uh, if you, if, if you want to play on this world, I suggest you use this resource pack as well. Uh, the leaves and that are not that necessary to be honest but uh it makes everything look pretty so this was my starter starter village this was lillage and it was it was just that it was a starter area i spawned right on top of here this is where we spawned like down there but still we, we spawned here, and I mean to remember that the first thing we built was this building, which kind of worked as our storage. Not just kind of, we have chests out here, we have some chests here, and I've filled them up with random, random stuff. And here we have the proper storage, and some villagers. Uh, this guy... He is a mending guy. He has mending for 10 emeralds. He's one of the reasons I'm not gonna get rid of the world, just take a break from the world and keep the den rolling. Um, these guys all should have some good stuff, like efficiency 4, uh, unbreaking. I haven't really done anything with this guy because he, he appears to be new. <laughs> 
but uh, yeah, that they all have something good. Um, and we have this guy. He he's here. He's here because I wanted him. <laughs> I've uh, I've killed so many iron golems. It's silly. And their textures updated in one dot fifteen, and I never worked on those. So the textures never really reverted back because I changed them up a little bit. Here is my farming area. I decided pretty early on that I am not going to eat animals. I'm not going to kill them um, unless they accidentally get in front of my sword, which has happened a few times. Uh, and for the advancement to eat all the food, which I still haven't gotten, I started on it and I just kind of forgot about it and decided to raid a, uh, raid a um, mansion instead. Uh, this was on live stream, and then I kind of just forgot about it. Um, and this is a semi-automatic netherworld farm, yeah. Uh, how this works, uh, I were going to fill on fill up this side as well, but I never bothered to because I never really needed it. This was more like, in case I ever need tons of netherworld which still hasn't occur occurred. I could just punch this button and punch it again. And voila, we would get all the warts up in here. And as you can see, I've used it a couple of times because why not? But uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be filled up now. I don't even remember how to do this redstone. And this was my first experience farm. Not very efficient. <laughs> because they don't really drop if we go into spectator. They just kind of all collect right there. So yeah, that that's something that I never really fixed up. I, I were planning on it, and I never really went down in the mines here. I didn't know... I didn't know this was here. <laughs> I, I usually never go into creative, because I know spectator to check out caves, because that's kind of cheaty. Uh, I just use it for camera angles and that kind of stuff. Uh, but the next thing would be the houses here. They were kind of inspired uh, from last year, 17th of May, where I decided that building a little bit of a... Uh, oh, did I actually do something up here? Oh, look at this. There's a music disc. Oh, wow. Why, why did I remove the stairs up? <laughs> I probably needed, uh, I were going to use scaffolding to get up and down in those houses, uh, because why not? Uh, but, uh, I guess I didn't. I thought I had a brewing station right here. Huh. I've, I've removed stuff, okay. Or they've disappeared. But, uh, these were stab houses, uh, like, they would be built in the same way that you would build a stub church. The same kind of style, the same time period, and, uh, yeah. I, I really, I really liked the design of these houses because I felt it was original. This whole area just feels original because of those houses, in my opinion. And then there's this unfinished mon monstrosity. I really need to return here someday and finish these projects. But, uh, yeah, uh, that barn, I need to finish it. I put so much effort into it, and I never did anything with it. And why did I use trap doors instead of full block? I don't, I don't know what I, why I do the things I do. Maybe it wouldn't work the way... I wanted it to? Maybe? I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, the village is a very peaceful place. It's a farming village. And the villagers are trampling my crops. <laughs> I just fixed here for the video. And it's already been trampled. Ugh. Isn't that typical? The next area is the area we have been spending the most time in. So I'm not going to go there yet. What we can do... Oh, there's actually a little bit of an area not too far away. If we follow this road, I'm going to stay in spectator because we don't really need to be running around, you know? But uh, this was a idea I got while watching Jumsy Boy. Uh, kind of building a ruined town. And some of this, like this building right here, I really like that. Uh, but I never really continued it because I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I did a... I did this building here and that building there. I spent a lot of time on it to make it look ruined and uh, that kind of stuff. And I never really came back. I, I was so inspired and still am. But I, I just never returned to it for some reason. Which is kind of weird, in my opinion. The This village over here I found pretty early on. I were going to do something with it, but I think I just uh, chopped down a couple of houses and left. I don't even think I brought any of the uh, villagers with me from here. Uh, I mean, to remember the villagers that I do have, I got from uh, zombie villagers. that They just kind of appeared in my mind, so I just... <laughs> I just turned them, and uh, life was good, you know? So, the next area I'm thinking we can visit is the Forsaken Dominion. Now, we have two different ways of getting there. Uh, I don't know any of this by heart, uh, any of the coordinates or anything like that. We have this way, which is supposed to be like you... you pay with an emerald or something to get to get there uh, but we're gonna pay with this a button <laughs> uh, the forsaken dominion are worshipping the wrong religion basically but I really like this house over here this building I really like it and I'm uh, looking forward to returning here and continue work here it's really tall Like, uh, usually when I build houses, they're not this tall. And there's some bees here. <laughs> they're a very peaceful type of... Uh, I, I didn't know you could actually farm these. So I just got this one and just kind of went with that. You know what I mean? Uh, but this church is still unfinished. I spent a few episodes on it, and uh, I really like it. I'm really enjoying how it looks, especially from the side, this side. Because it, it just feels so much more... It feels more done, you know what I mean? Except for this tower right here. It, that needs to be uh, built up. The walls needs to have a little bit more texture in them. I think maybe... I thought that, yeah, I need to do something under here. There's like minor stuff I need to do with this building, but uh, it's mostly done. Uh, Church of the Forsaken. Uh, this was going to be a bell tower, but I never really did anything with it. I redecided in the middle of building because otherwise I felt it would be too many towers. Just because I'm go uh, we had this tower and we're going to have this tower here, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to add another tower on this. You know what I mean? I felt like it was kind of unnecessary. So I redecided and uh, decided on having a pit instead. 
uh, and that's kind of what we're going to do. Anyone who kind of goes against the the religion would get thrown down as long as they lived in this area. So I have quite a bit of uh, plants here, which I never got around to continuing because I fell in love with Nerwood again and kept working on that. <coughs> so then we're going to go back. I should have brought a bed, but that's okay. That is totally fine. Uh, and then the next area would be this one, but th there's nothing here. Uh, I, I found a mesa, which I wanted to do something with, but I've only used it for mining, so... <laughs> there, there is really nothing to show over there. Then, we get to here. Which is the very familiar look. Wait. Oh, right, we don't have zoom. This is Nerwood. <laughs> and Nerwood is kind of like, um... Uh, the world hub, sort of. Uh, I want it to be the biggest town I have. And I put a lot of love into here, and a lot of the love isn't even visible. <laughs> because it, it... I've spent so many hours just deciding what block goes here. Or what trying to figure out where I want to place stuff. Uh, lots of things have just gone to trying to figure those kind of things out, which uh, made me not being able to finish a few buildings. I never really did get back to this. This was a building I really wanted to do. I may I may do it when, I, when we return. And when we return, we're not going to be using this resource pack. I have two different resource packs I want to use for Season 3. One that is made by me, and the other which is made by the fantastic Jimsy Boy. So I kind of want to take that into account too. Uh, because the, the one that we kind of decide on is the one we're going to keep using for the den. Um, but yeah, so that is the town, and then we have... This little thing, I'm really proud of this, I don't know why. It's kind of silly, but um, I got this idea while I were listening to a uh, lore video by uh, Fixit. So, yeah, I think I kind of got inspired by his story. So, this was just to add a little bit of something to the town, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't just have buildings, you know? You would have small areas where people would meet and hang out, a little bit of a campfire, sit and talk, you know, those kind of things. And then we have this, which I still haven't done any work on on camera. <laughs> this is going to be the castle of Nerwood. Ooh, there's a short... There's a shulker box right there. Ooh. And if we go over here, we have a little bit of a kelp farm going, which I didn't really use. Oh, there's a couple of shulker boxes right here as well. Nice. <laughs> there's so many shulker boxes in this world that I don't know where is. There's another one right there. Um... We're gonna go back to creative so I can touch buttons. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is... Um, I really like this. I like the feel of going not through, but this way. I like this. I don't know why. I I'm a lefty, so maybe it's like th there's stuff on my left, you know? Because if I go this way, I don't like it as much. Maybe it's the beacon. Maybe that kind of destroys it for me a little bit, but I don't know why this is still here. Oh, yeah. 
I changed those a little bit. <laughs> but uh, they will probably not be used. Um, and we're not going to go through the nether portal because there's nothing there. The next area would be this one. Can I click the button? There we go. This is an offline area. I kind of, I kind of wanted a area where I could build and just do stuff without worrying about it being on camera and just have fun with no content whatsoever being planned here. Just building without any meaning. Uh, so I, I kind of like this. It's kind of weird. I like it because it's weird. And that's basically it. <laughs> For this area. The next... Oh, wait. I have a bed. Okay, I thought maybe I had left some shulker boxes here, but I hadn't. Uh, the next area is going to be this way. Because I, I didn't build any other way of getting here than having to walk, ride a horse, or fly. This is my mining area. <laughs> I didn't realize this was still a thing. Like, I've been trying to find this for a really long time, and the beacon never really turned on, so I thought I lost it. Because I didn't write the coordinates down, or if I did, I wrote it in in a place I didn't, uh, maybe I got rid of it, you know, but yeah, this is uh, where I'm um, where we're going to mine out and have all the stone I ever needed. But since I thought I lost it, I started mining under Nerwood again, because that's kind of why, uh, let's see, I think... Let's see. I think it's this way now. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. Just looking at three blocks and I'm like, okay, it's this way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if we go this way, we will find a few things that I really like. And one thing that I'm not really proud of, because it's just one big box, which is this box right here. I don't like it. When we return to this world, I may do something over here. Because I really want this to be good, you know? I want this to be a ma master... Uh, I want this to be my masterpiece world. Um, maybe not, but you know what I mean. Uh, this is... A little bit of a um, farming, uh, trading hall, uh, which I spent a little bit of time on. I, I really like the design here. I, I need to do some more work. Uh, all of these are supposed to be filled up with stuff these guys want. Uh, so this guy wants lots of carrots. This guy wants potatoes. This guy wants cheap mm, pumpkin and melon I'm thinking <laughs> uh, so yeah and in here we have a uh, pumpkin no this is melon I think this is the melon farm and this should be the pumpkin farm or the other way around I never remember Let's... okay it's the other way this is melon that's pumpkin Two layers, um, quite a bit of work done, and I like it. And a sugar cane farm, because I want librarians at some point. Uh, and here we have a villager breeder, or over there. Let's take a look at that. Ah, uh, it's nothing special, it's just there. Uh, the way I'm doing it is that I have a very small platform, and some beds and some carrots growing and they are going to be very happy <laughs> that's basically it uh, the, the, there's nothing else to it uh, this guy seems I have been trading with oh yeah we're doing that for a bit uh, if we go all the way up we have done some more stuff with villagers a 
forgot to show this the last world tour, this area. I, I completely forgot about it. But here, we have an iron farm. It's nothing special, but it's just its job. Oh, the zombie is gone. Okay. <laughs> the zombie is gone. That's fine. So we have the uh, iron farm and we also have this, which if we go into spectator is, I'm not sure how well this is, how good you guys can see this, but this is my mob farm. And it does its job. I, I don't have a shortage of anything. Uh, if we go down again, uh, here we have a little bit of gunpowder, a little bit of bone, a little bit of uh, rotten flesh, and those kind of thing, you know. And uh, I have been spending some time up here. We also have some... Uh, some string. I I don't have any shortage of things in this world. Oh. Okay. And down here we have potato, carrot, and wheat. Because why not? And I also have... Uh, this is the more technical side of Minecraft, right? Technical stuff is not really my thing. But, oh, what was that bird? Uh, but if we go over here, we have an end render. Like, I'm not a very technical player, so I don't really build any fancy technical stuff. All I do is build something that works and have fun. <laughs> as long as it does its job, I'm pleased. You know what I mean? Uh, and this works. It repairs all my mending stuff. And that's all I want. So the next thing would have to be... Um, uh, th there's a few more places to show. Um, let's take a sleep. The next thing would... Now we're not going chronon... Chronically? Chrono we're, we're not going in uh, a specific order. This is Bluviken, the area we have been working on for the last few episodes. Uh, the last two, to be more exact. I really like this. I really like this. This is awesome. I love it. Um, this is the training area we built. I decided to go with the redstone lamps instead of the pumpkin. Simply because if we do this, 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 and shoot, it lights up. I really think that's kind of cool. Wait, was that a bullseye? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting bullseye. So, yeah, and then I built this off camera. I kind of like it. Um, but I have some plans for storage for Season 3, which is a bit more redstone-ish. And this is going to be the regular house here. Uh, just adding the roof here. <laughs> like how we have it here. Except for maybe something like that. But I never really did get to finish because I am not that good. <laughs> uh, but I really do like this style that we have gone for here. And like I said, we're going to return to this world. I just uh, want to do something a little bit different for a little bit. I'm not sure how long, but uh, it's going to be a little bit of time. So, if we go here and we follow this road uh we should find yeah this is just a little bit of something i built to kind of make the world feel like it's a bit more lived in oh and i haven't seen this since i updated my dirt or my not my dirt but my um uh, 
path blocks. That's it. That's all good. That's all good. Uh, I like it a lot more. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm bringing the path block here over to my new resource pack because I really do like this. So if we follow this dirt path for a little bit, we will find our next thing, which is this. Uh, this does not look good. This side right here, no goody. <laughs> but this was kind of my first mm, mountain type of project. And I think it turned out nice on like there. <laughs> I, I like it for what it is. It's does what it's supposed to do, which is to block the view of this little arena right here. Where I got a couple of uh, special guests waiting for us. We have uh, this good boy. And we got this good boy. We got two skeleton horses. Not sure what happened to the... What? Uh, we'll check that in a second. But I did a hobbit, a hobbit hole here quite some time ago. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how much I like this, but... Uh, it was my first hobbit hole, so I think it'll turn out kind of nice. It could have been better. I, I could have done this hill a bit more outwards or something like that, or maybe had it had it in here or something. But uh, I think it I think it's decent. I think it's okay. But uh, I I saw something over here. The, why is there a shroom right shroom light right there? Uh okay. <laughs> 